Crystal Myers Squibb. We're leading the way with breakthrough research in immuno-oncology. We hope to develop new drugs that are designed to help the body's immune system find and fight your cancer. The FDA announcing it is moving trans fats, trans fats considered by doctors to be the worst type of fat and the kind of fat that raises your bad cholesterol levels to the unsafe list. Senior medical correspondent Elizabeth Cohen is here to explain. So that involves a lot of food. That does involve a lot of food, like cookies, muffins. I mean, not all cookies, not all muffins, but many of them. Those biscuits that are so yummy, many of them are yummy because, well, they contain trans fats. But trans fats are bad for your heart. And for about 10 years now, experts have been saying to the FDA and petitioning them, get these fats off the market. And now finally, 10 years later, the FDA said, hey, let's try it. So they made the first move today to start getting trans fats out of the food. Let's try it. So we won't see an immediate change, but we're certainly going to see a change. Right, we won't see an immediate change. And there's all these bureaucratic steps, proposals and comments, et cetera, et cetera, that they need to go through. But it certainly is looking that in time, trans fats could or will likely be out of our And some supply. restaurants are, have already moved toward them. McDonald's, right? Trans right, fats out of their right, French fries. Out, and here's Satis the fries and Burger King. Right. Well, right. you really know this. You must eat a lot of these. <laughs> I try not <laughs> to, but I love them. They are. They're good. Right, exactly. Right, exactly. So since the early 90s, uh, there's been about a 75% decrease in the amount of trans fats in our food. So some people are saying the FDA is kind of late to this party. You know, industry was already doing this, and why didn't they do this earlier? But still, I suppose better late than never. And there, and there's still is quite a bit of trans fats. I know because I, I think I ate one of those biscuits recently and I said, why is this so good? And well, then I checked the ingredients. The I know, but like, you know, even medical correspondents make mistakes, right? I ate it and I said, why is this so good? And then I looked at the ingredients and, and I found guilty. out why. Yeah. yeah, but you know, I didn't eat... Well, they're so chipper about it, you know? Uh, she's over there giving a few plugs for... Bur this is CNN.com. Giving a few plugs for um, Burger King and McDonald's, how they deviated from from this, this bad uh, chemical thing. And how they should be praised now. I mean, these these companies, these fast food restaurants are still using a ton of garbage, ton of chemicals, and the very nature, the original nature of what they're serving sucks. It's bad for you. So there's nothing to be praised there about them. Um, I like what they said. The the FDA, who cares about you, just so you know, was petitioned for ten years to remove this stuff by professionals. And they're like, yeah, 10 years later, let's give it a try. It worked out now. We have a new chemical that kills people that they can now start petitioning us starting now for 10 years. And then in 10 years, we'll remove that chemical when we have a worse chemical to replace it. I really think Hitler runs the FDA. I think he runs the EPA. I think he runs the USDA. And I think he's still alive running these things. Or his son, you know, he got pissed off. He's like, fuck down, I'm going to take over America now. He got pissed off and he's running it all. And they're doing such a good job. They got smiley earheads talking about it. They got it covered in bureaucracy. They want you to think it's just the administrative wheels. That's why we can't get the chemicals off. In a legitimate society, if you ever see one someday, hopefully we get one, uh, maybe in a, another life or something, you'll see that if an organization is in charge of things and, and they're in charge of making sure chemicals and bad things don't get into consumers' hands, and they're seeing that someone is, is putting bad things in consumers' hands. They just pull the plug in, an, in a second. They just say, stop, or we're finding you, you're under arrest, stop. And it's over. This 10-year bureaucracy, this big game about how we're trying to get the hydrogenated stuff out for 30 years. How did it get in there in the first place? Over to correspondent Neil to talk about it and waste our time. You know, it's all bullshit. Okay. And Betty Crocker's a big part of that bullshit. She's basically an asshole. I mean, what are you buying when you buy Betty Crocker? You think you're getting something? You're getting chemicals that delude the body into thinking it tastes good and that you had that experience. That experience happens in the mind. It doesn't happen in the actual bisquick. It doesn't happen in the actual mouth. It happens in the mind. They create the experience for you on paper, in color, not through these, these ingredients, enriched flour, Bleached, there's bleach in it. Wheat flour, uh, and that's not even allowed. Some countries don't even allow the bleaching of flour because bleach is bad for you, it kills you. Uh, and then we have the partially hydrogenated soybean oil. It's probably a GMO soybean to boot, right? Cottonseed oil, leavening, 
baking soda, sodium aluminum phosphate. You think those are the? You think that's what makes a a real meal? Is that what you think? This is by General Mills, by the way, the big corporation that hides out real small on the bottom of the box and puts the big Betty Crocker image and all the big the Cheerio, the Bumblebee, all the big fancy pretty things to can to trick the hicks into buying their stuff. They make money off the hicks and they damage their brains and screw them up so that when we go to vote, the hicks go and vote for the bad guy is going to hurt them more because they're brain damaged. And the good guy like me, his vote doesn't matter because there's only one of me and I make my vote and nobody cares. The hicks win. It's a democracy where the hicks win. So let me help you and just tell you not to use this ingredient. I'm not a doctor. Everything I say could be bullshit, right? Um, it could just be comedy. It could just be uh, whatever, right? So I don't know for sure if it's really bad. But the FDA is saying it is now, the hydrogenated uh, oils, right? The FDA is saying it's bad. Uh, or they're acting on information. Everyone's been saying it's bad. CNN's coming out with it. But it's a fun, it's a fun morning coffee episode where we're going to go get a McDonald's uh, french fry after and celebrate the lack of hydrogenated oils in it. Over to you, Jim.